everyone, it is Holger Week 2022 and it's the first day of Holger Week, 1st of October and I am heading off down to the wonderful Cookmare Haven and the Seven Sisters View um, favourite location of mine and I kind of figured today is going to be a fantastic opportunity to get out with my Holger wide pinhole camera down to this spot and continue my series of images which I'm doing here. So I'm gonna have a little plod, see what we can find, and hopefully catch some fantastic images to celebrate Holger Week. <laughs> So as I'm heading to where I want to be, I've uh, got a fantastic day today. Uh, weather's finally dropping off, we've got a few nice dark clouds coming over. We've had a bit of rain on and off. As I was heading over here, it was absolutely hammering it down. So hopefully it should be quite good. I kind of wish I'd come out maybe a few hours earlier because then I would have had more of a side light. But uh, we'll just see what images we can get. So I've got my Holger wide pinhole camera, medium format. I've got that loaded with Fomapan 100, which I'll be shooting at 400. It's something I've been doing a little bit recently and stand developing. I've been really, really pleased with the result. Blah, blah, blah. Pleased with the results. Um, I went out previous video and I finally got light leak free images out of my whole I finally found uh, the main source of the incredible light leak I was getting on the thing. And um, yeah, finally solved it. So hopefully that stays where it is. And um, kind of falling in love with my Holger again, actually. I kind of, I've almost chucked it away several times, but I've got a real love-hate relationship with this camera. And um, I think a lot of people do, which is why people kind of like Holgers and spend this week to celebrate them. They're plastic, they're quirky. The lens ones are normally plastic lenses and a little bit temperamental, but they're fantastic to use and certainly if you're looking into getting into photography, especially pinhole photography, you can pick up a Holger for 30, 40 quid. They're an affordable, fantastic little camera to uh, use, definitely. First photo set up at this lovely view uh, with this cliff edge sign. Uh, put a red filter on it just to drag the exposure out a little bit and hopefully darken off them blues. We've got quite a rough sea as well today, which is quite nice. That should motion there uh, kind of add a little bit more into that as well. Uh, so it's going to give me about uh, seven to ten second exposure. So hopefully it all works. So for this one I've got about a half second to a second exposure to wait for a nice big wave to crash at the bottom of them steps. Thank you. 
Thankfully I've got an outgoing tide, I've just quickly nipped down these steps. I'm going to set up a shot here, I think, looking out. I'm going to keep an eye on the waves for a minute, just make sure they're not going to get me where I want to set up. Just moving out of that weather. So the problem with filters and pinhole photography, all them water splatters will probably show up. They might not, but I might try a, a shorter exposure without a filter to see how it looks. Though them two shots would be very similar hopefully by using the filter they should have two fairly different um, feels to them the longer exposure should be a little bit calmer it'll smooth out that water the no filter quick exposure should just add a little bit of movement had about a second on that so should just have a bit of movement added a bit more dra a bit more dramatic hopefully on the shoreline was wobble a lot in the wind so I'm going to sit here trying to block it
view. Seven Sisters. The light was hopefully on it. A bit of red filter on for that one. I am just. That was the last of that. That roll of film actually. So I've got another roll, uh, but I'm just gonna plod off down. See what the beach is like. The light is starting to drop a bit, but should be okay. Uh, I'll see if I'm gonna put another roll in or not. Uh, just gonna have a head down the beach. Have a quick look. decided to put uh, the other roll in I've just got one photo there quickly I'm uh, gonna finish this lot off probably on the beach and see what I can get down here I'm not gonna film too much of this because I kind of want to just kind of quickly get through it I'm running out of time uh, but I'll show you all the photos and film what the environment really so we get on I got down to the beach when I did um, and didn't waste too much time uh, the light was fantastic but it was going so so quick literally just a few minutes so that's why I was kind of ran along got a picture got a picture kind of flew for that roll of film but it was lovely glad I did anyway uh, I hope you've had a good Holga week if you've been out of your Holga if you haven't get one they're good fun good cheap cameras I know I slag mine off a bit, but it does alright really. But anyway, that's going to be it, guys. Want to leave a comment down below? Let me know your favourite picture. Uh, any criticism, advice? Go for it. And I'll, uh, I'll see you next time I'm out. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.
Thank you.